the Director General of the National Agency for Food and Drug Administration and Control, Professor Mujisola Adeyeye, has advised Nigerians to shun a publication circulating on social media indicating that paracetamol being sold in Nigeria are underdose. Uh, Professor Adeye, who reacted to the publication at the Lagos office of NAVDAC, says the publication is completely false and the claims unfounded. And senior correspondent Jacqueline Ogo, who is standing by at the NAVDAC office, joins us for more on this. Um, Jacqueline, tell us about, um, tell us more rather about how this claim of the circulation of underdose paracetamol came about and what the uh, NAVDAC, what, what NAVDAC is planning to do about it. Okay, first things first. Um, the, the Director General was quite emotional in her briefing today and there were actually reasons for that. So I'll start by letting you know that this publication was based on the findings made through the persons involved collecting two tablets of paracetamol each from various outlets, just two from various outlets to do the testing they carried out. And the DG was quite um, a, a, a bit you know, rattled about that in the sense that it is not two tablets that you used to do such findings. The standard rule is for you to get as much as 20 from each outlet and you are to do the, the find, carry out your, your laboratory findings through a standard laboratory approved at the top, international standard laboratories. The persons involved in this publication did, did not do that. And so she found that very, very, you know, uh, disrupting in the sense that they were not following the standard rule and then it was circulating on social media. Then again, there, there is another body that makes the, the British Pharmacopoeia publication. And in that publication, the existing one is the one for 2023. In page 1081, you find all the procedures to be followed in testing drugs. These procedures, according to the Director General, were not followed. And then the publication was put out into social media and people started reacting. So the DG is saying that at this time, Nigerians should always make sure that they get information from verifiable sources before reacting or before saying whatever they want to say in reaction to what they read or heard. But just before the briefing was over, we were told that the publication had been retracted. Precious. All right, so uh, and Jackie, just, just quickly, two questions quickly, and if you can, do, if you can you know, answer them in just a minute. For um, when you say each outlet, what does that mean? You said two, dr two drugs from each outlet. I want to know what that means. And then for the sake of clarity, okay. um, when a drug is underdosed, what happens to a sick person who takes that drug? Okay, now I said um, two tablets from an outlet. That's a pharmaceutical outlet or a right. pharmacy. You're not supposed to get more, less than 20 tablets before you go out for verification. And if I get those tablets from different places, then you go out and do your verification. And let me move quickly to when a drug is underdosed. When a drug is underdosed, for example, paracetamol, that is 500 milligrams. You do the testing and you find out that it's 300 milligrams. That means it is underdosed, but carrying the label of 500 milligrams. And that's the claim here. And these people are also saying that some of their own findings showed them that um, you, in, in some of the paracetamol tablets tested, they saw as low as 100 milligrams being claimed to be 500 milligrams. And the DG said in reaction, what NAVDA had to do was to go out and get samples of 20 tablets of the same drug each in Lagos and Abuja. And then the testing, according to international um, procedures, was carried out in, uh, in the World Health Organization pre-qualified laboratory, which is the standard for which they should be tested. They were checked, and nothing of these claims made were found. So the DG is saying that at this time, Nigeria's reputation is being dented. And that should not happen. She, she threatened that a re, an action will be carried out, but she didn't say clearly. She didn't, she didn't give us that if it was going to be legal or what form of reaction it will be. But she said an action will be carried out because exactly. the abuse is quite a, a, a lot. I mean, NAVDAC seems to have a lot of action to, you know, to carry out at this, at this time. Nigerians are talking about issues of fake drinks and fake products in the market. 
Um, there was the, also the issue of um, poisonous, I think it was plantain chips. Now that's like it was also making into allegations. And then this particular publication, which you said have now been retracted. You know, what is the holistic approach to this? What, did they address all of these issues and what you're doing to, to you know, ensure that Nigerians are taking standard products? Yes, these also came up during the briefing. And the Director General said that, you know, in the issue of Nigerians adding rubber, you know, melting rubber and adding it to oil for frying, just to make whatever they are frying, you know, tougher, and for, for them to last longer, for people to buy them and then go on to make their gains, that that one is an issue that has been troubling her. So she sent out her men for the verification of these claims. That the, the organization is right now on that to make sure that it is stemmed. These other ones coming along the side too, there are also issues that are causing the director general and the organization some level of serious worry. And she says that they are being addressed. But she's saying that people should understand that when you you manufacture fake drugs and you give them to people to take, they can affect vi vital organs of the body. For example, a fake drug can destroy the liver, can destroy the kidneys. Mm. But people just go out to self-medicate without really right. checking, while others just use that as, you know, the opportunity, the good window to put out what is I not mean, real Danke, for others Danke, to take. It looks like uh, um, now that's the work is cut out for it, so we'll see how they address it's a myriad of issues. I corresponded there for Ross and Navdak office in Lagos, Jacqueline Ogle.